guys, it's Ashley and I'm finally back with another video. <laughs> Today's video is going to be all about the stages of locks. So if you have locks, you've probably seen this picture. I saw it, I remember seeing it before I even started locks on Instagram. It's basically like a chart that highlights the different stages of locks. It starts with the baby locks, which is also known as the pre-lock phase, teen locks, which is also known as the budding phase, adult locks, which is also known as the shooting phase, and elder locks, which is the contact contracting phase. I don't really like to classify my locks into different groups like this. I feel like it kind of complement complicates. <laughs> I feel like it kind of complicates things, but I also feel like people who don't have locks or people who want to start locks would probably understand the different phases better if they're broken down in this way. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys pictures and videos, of course, of my locks in the different phases based on this chart. Let's get right into it. I started this set of locks in 2018 with cone coils. My baby locks phase lasted about two months. During this stage, I washed my hair every three weeks. I had minimal unraveling. Every time I looked at my locks, they seemed to get thicker and fluffier. During this time, my locks really surprised me. They looked nothing like the first day. I remember being nervous on the first day because my intended goal was to have thick locks and on day one, my coils were super skinny. By the end of the baby locks phase, my locks were fluffy and soft and oil and water were my best friends. The budding phase is the phase where most people think their locks are ugly. This phase is deemed as the ugly phase because your locks are not quite locked, they may be frizzy, they may stick out, and they often don't even look like locks yet. For me, this was my favorite phase of locks because of how fluffy they were. This is the stage where I learned to truly love my locks and I love my natural hair because of the processes that it can go through. At this phase of locks, I did more with them. They were longer and fluffier. Yes, they stuck out, they were frizzy a little bit and some of them were still coiled at the end. For this reason, if I wanted to comb my locks out at this phase, that would have been possible. But all in all, this was when they started to look more uniformed and come into themselves. My teenage locks slash budding phase lasted about eight months. By the end of this phase, my locks were fully locked and my locks hit a growth spurt just like teenagers do. The current phase that I'm in is called the shooting phase, also known as adult locks. My coils are now fully locked they are versatile and very solid. What I noticed about this phase is that my hair texture has changed. Before having locks, I was never tender-headed and I had extremely dry scalp. Now that I haven't felt a comb on my scalp in over two years, I am very sensitive when other people are doing my hair. But the good part of having locks now is that for some reason, I no longer have dry scalp. Drink more water now than ever before because I know that it keeps my locks nourished. My locks are not heavy, but when they are wet in the shower or when I'm in the pool or at the beach, I feel them on my shoulders and back in a way that my loose natural hair never felt. When I had loose natural hair, my hair was very thick, but it never fell this way, even when it was straightened. In this phase, I noticed that my hair color has been changing because of the sun. This is the phase where I'm learning a lot of lessons and I'm learning to wear my hair out regardless if my locks are retwisted or not. I can deep condition my locks and not fear that they will unravel. I'm not quite yet at the elder phase, but I'll be sure to make another video when I reach that stage. I definitely do plan on keeping my locks until they're way past my booty. And yeah, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I would really love to get to 700 subscribers by my birthday. My birthday is September 7th. If you guys could do that for me, that would be great. Oh, I'm going to start vlogging. <laughs> like by the end of this week, there will be a vlog up, my first vlog. I'm excited for it, kind of nervous, but you know. Um, anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are all staying safe and I hope this video was helpful. Please let me know in the comments below what you liked about this video and what you want to see next on this channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye! <laughs>